Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Rothstein. Happy Tuesday. Uh, we are going to continue talking about flowers and planting and gardening this week. So for today's read aloud, we'll be reading the story Exploring Flowers by Kristen Sterling. This book is about discovering how flowers can develop into fruits, vegetables, or seeds for producing more plants. So as we read, I want you to think, why do plants have flowers? And do all plants just have flowers or can they have more? Let's see if we figure that out as we read. I see flowers. Flowers are part of a plant. Parts of the plant are a seed, a seedling, the roots, the stem, the buds, and the leaves. Each plant part has a job. Fruits, vegetables, and blossoms grow from flowers on plants. Pollen looks like yellow dust. Pollen makes some seeds grow into plants. Pollen is moved by birds and bugs. Each seed that gets pollen can become a new plant. Small buds grow on the stem of some plants and blossoms bloom when buds open. Flowers on some plants are the first sign of a fruit or a vegetable. These apples grow from flowers. Lilacs are pretty flowers that smell good. People sometimes put flowers in their homes. Flowers are in your home, in the park, and all around you. Do you see flowers? These are some different kind of flowers that we talked about. We have red tulips, blue asters, small bleeding hearts, large banana plants, star-shaped pumpkin plants, and cone-shaped prairie clovers. All of these are different colors, different sizes, and different shapes. As you can see, there are a lot of flower facts. So some of the facts say, roses are the national flower of the United States. The biggest flower is called the Australian mountain ash, and the smallest flower is the water meal plant. In this story, we talked about a few key words. So we have a glossary that gives the definitions of these key words. So some of the words we talked about were blossoms, buds, flowers, pollen, and seeds. And next to each word, you see a definition of each key word. So for blossoms, that means a group of flowers. A bud is a small growth on a plant stem that changes into a flower or a leaf. Flowers are the part of a plant that grow from a stem and make seeds or fruit. Pollen is tiny grains in a flower that look like dust. And a seed is a plant part that can be made into a new plant. So, so those are some of the key words that we read in the book. Try to use those words in a sentence with your family members and see what you come up with. I hope you had a great day and I hope you enjoyed the read aloud and we'll talk soon.